Welcome to MyPatchLink.com's video series on allergic contact dermatitis. In the short video you are about to watch, you will learn about your allergy and where to go for additional information. Hello, my name is Dr. Sharon Jacob, and I'm going to speak to you today about your patch test results. Your results indicate that you have a contact allergy to lanolin, also known as Wowax alcohols. If you haven't already, I suggest watching the video titled Allergic Contact Dermatitis. Having allergic contact dermatitis simply means that your immune system has developed a sensitivity to a particular substance and may react whenever your skin comes into contact with that substance. In your case, because of your allergy, your skin may become irritated or inflamed if it comes into contact with a product that contains lanolin. Although, it may take several days or even weeks for the symptoms to appear. Typical symptoms may include redness, swelling, and itching. Some patients may develop fluid-filled blisters. What is this substance? Lanolin is an oily substance that is found on sheep's wool. When the wool is processed to be used, the lanolin is removed and is purified, and then used in many types of products, such as moisturizers, lotions, and creams. Lanolin is also often found in cosmetic and personal hygiene products. For example, lip balm, lipstick, blushes, powders, foundations, and different types of eye makeup can potentially contain lanolin. How do you avoid it? Only use products that do not have the words lanolin or wool alcohols listed anywhere on the ingredient list, especially with creams and lotions. Although you have been diagnosed with an allergic contact dermatitis to lanolin, it is important to remember that it is manageable. Thank you and I wish you success in managing your allergy. As with all medical conditions, if you believe you are suffering from allergic contact dermatitis, please contact your healthcare provider. Additional resources and information are available to you at mypatchlink.com slash resources.